Today we're reviewing Japanese bug fighting where in Japan, putting these beetles with weird horns on their heads to fight over a block of wood is popular. Specifically, we're watching one episode of this 58 part series, so here we go. First of all, what an intro. We had all these characters and bugs fighting and explosions everywhere. I'm excited to see the fights. But what was that weird pulsing noise in the background? Let me play it for you at normal speed. They're really trying to hypnotize me into watching bugs throw hands for an hour and a half. Now let's watch the intro into the, the first fight real quick. I have a sped up because it's super long, but they do kind of be sounding like Animal Crossing characters. I honestly got my bid for the three horned beetle, that's just cheating at that point. Okay, at this point, I just feel like they're bluffing talking some bug trash talk or something. Not gonna lie, that small beetle surprised me. I didn't think he had it in him. The other beetle's like twice his size and has an extra horn. Well that was sort of anticlimactic, I was definitely not expecting that. Like the beetle with three horns should have so much more of an advantage, but he was just like weak. He was way bigger too and he couldn't do anything. But Rhino Beetle takes the dub, onto the next fight. In the case of a Hercules beetle versus stag beetle, I'm gonna have to go with the stag beetle because I learned from before that size ain't everything. Hercules sounds like a menacing name, but the stag beetle just looks more confident. Bro, that Hercules beetle was legit just scared off like I thought Hercules in the name implied strength and courage, but nah, this dude just walked off like, come on. The finale you've all been waiting for, the two victors, Rhino vs Stag Beetle, a classic. Even in Pokemon, you've got Heracross vs Pinsir. This is literal Pokemon in real life. Honestly, my bets are on the Rhino Beetle. He could definitely launch that stag. Watch out for the mandibles though. It's amazing that they got so much respect for each other that they take a moment of solemn for all those lost beetles. And the crowd goes wild! The Rhino Beetle is honestly OP, he's a no-nonsense kind of guy that just launches his opponent off the log. What a fight and what a finish to a grand tournament like this one.